Bibigo Korean style crunchy chicken. The old coot here coming at you with another exciting food review. Got this at Costco. I'm pretty sure it's available like in most of your supermarket frozen food sections. You know, you get the idea. Trader Joe's equivalent, whatever that would be. But very tasty. I did find a little piece of Italy inside the Korean style crunchy chicken, which brings up the question, who invented the noodle first, right? Did the Italians invent pasta or did the Asians invent the noodle? That is a question. Did Marco Polo bring it to Asia or did Asia bring it to Italy? Anyways, it's a debate for a whole nother day. Comment below <laughs> with your opinion on the topic. But look at that. Isn't that cool? It looks like a little, little boot of Italy there. Anyways, these are delicious, absolutely delicious. They do have a kick to them, like white people hot kind of a kick, uh, and then maybe just, maybe like a little bit more. But they are spicy in terms of, yes, they have flavor. There's a lot of flavor going on. You taste basically some sweetness. Uh, and then whatever the Korean style seasoning is that they use their special spice blend, I believe it's like, it's almost like a Korean barbecue kind of a sweetness to it, right? So it's got some like notes of pear and it's got some, you know, uh, Anyways, it just tastes delicious. It basically is what I'm trying to get at. So this is after they've been settled. You know, we, ate, me and my roommate ate most of them. But basically, this is after they've been settling for a while. I found that one sauce packet was enough. I didn't need two. I mean, look at how much sauciness there is left over in the bowl that I mixed them in and served them. But in terms of flavor, they're great. In terms of taste, they're great. You do get like hot, like you do get a lot of heat. Let me look at the ingredient label and you can actually see exactly what's in here. So in case you're kind of curious, there's also some of your nutritional facts. But you've got your crunchy chicken, right? And remember that when you do cook this, it is raw. So you do need to cook this properly, 450 degrees. 10 minutes on one side, flip it over, 10 minutes on the other side. That's basically how I got to this crispy and crunchiness. They are extremely crispy and crunchy as well. So 450, I think, is the trick. I also put it on the middle rack in my little toaster oven. I think that kind of helped with it. But here's what your flavors are. As you can see right there, you got hot peppers. You've got... You know, your pepper, obviously pepper, hot pep, hot pepper, more pepper and pepper. You got rice vinegar, sesame oil, right? And then you've got black pepper in there. Ginger, garlic, you do get those notes, you know, going on as well, like your traditional Korean style seasoning, as you can see right there. But basically, that's what's going on. There's your nutritional facts if you want to go ahead and check that out. Anyways, I'm very pleased. There's what the picture looks like. Here's reality. Right. And remember, theirs is probably with two sauce packets coating everything, but it's great, you know, for being a very, you know, easy to make recipe in, I would say five minutes to preheat your oven and then 20 minutes to cook it. The air fryer instructions are also here as well. One of the main things that I was mentioning in the other videos was that I did like the fact that the instructions are on the box and they're also on the packages themselves. So you do get two big packages and then with, within each of those packages, there's two sauce packets. So you can use as much or as little sauce as you want and then have some sauce left over for later or whatever. But anyways, great little product. That's my quick review. I would continue to buy these. Very tasty, especially if you're into Asian flavors. If you're going to be giving this to someone who's sensitive with heat, right? Like heat in terms of like spicy, hot, like burn your tongue kind of heat. I would kind of shy away from it uh, because it is that kind of spicy. Like I said, it's like white people hot, you know, if that makes any sense. What you could also do if you wanted to, like just as a variation, is you could buy these cook them just plain without any, you know, sauce on them or whatever. And then you can put your own sauce on them if you want to be saucy, you know, just saying. So like if you want that crispy Korean style crunchy chicken, I would consider that, you know, make them without the sauce and then you can put your own sauce or you could just use, you know, I hate to say it, but if you really wanted to go American style, you could just have chicken tenders and then put whatever you want, you know, ketchup, mustard, whatever mayonnaise and sweet deli mustard whatever honey mustard whatever you can do whatever you want to do anyways with that being said hit that like button hit the subscribe button down there below if you like what you're seeing there are some links to some kitchen products down in the description section so make sure to check that out i'm the old coot and i will catch you all on the next exciting video and don't forget to comment which came first marco polo bringing noodles to asia or asia via marco polo bringing the noodles to italy there you go